morning everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to discuss the stigma of living in a mobile home. And is it the same today in 2023 as it was many years ago? I have a lot of thoughts on this and I thought what a perfect backdrop to show you my 1963 Ridgeway double wide. Everything on my mobile home is original. The windows are original. The color scheme of it is original. Now we did repaint it last year, but everything on it is original except for the deck. Inside my kitchen, that's all original as well, except for a few appliances. So the difference between a trailer and a mobile home is this, and this is what my father taught me. So this is how I grew up. A trailer is almost the same thing as a mobile home but a trailer has the wheels on it and also has the hitch left on it so many times you will go into an old trailer park or mobile home park you will see the trailers that have the hitch on the end of them oftentimes they still have the wheels on them they'll have skirting around it that's considered a trailer a mobile home is considered a home that is on a foundation the wheels are taken off of it there is no hitch on it I live in a mobile home, but because my mobile home is so old, my daddy would probably call this a trailer. <laughs> my dad called really old mobile homes trailers. That he just, that's what he did. Or trailer parks and mobile home parks. To him, this mobile home sounded a lot better than trailer parks. So if it was a, a park that was really taken care of, he called it mobile home parks. And if it was a really, park that was just really dirty and not taken care of he'd call them trailer parks that's just for fun i mean we're, we're not saying which is one or the other but the story i want to share with you all is because there were so many stereotypes about people who lived in trailer parks or mobile home parks and i felt it firsthand when i sold everything i owned see we had a really nice house with an in-ground pool and we got rid of all of those things and I, I bought this because this we could live in this you know debt free the stigma came at me at once you know lazy and all of these things and I realized that there is such a stigma, but is it anymore in 2023? And that's what I want to talk about. So two years ago when everything hit, you know, the virus and all of the sickness, there was a big shift in people's thought process. And all of a sudden people were not thinking so much about what other people live in. People more thinking of how can they downsize? People lost their jobs. People lost their 401ks. People lost so much people became ill and couldn't work and then all of a sudden they were starting to think about mobile homes that's a frugal way of living and so people were trying to downsize left and right trying to you know get rid of their big mortgages and people were flocking to mobile home parks and all of a sudden people's thinking changed they started realizing wait a minute i gotta live frugal the stereotypes totally left in 2023 to a certain degree. I'm sure in certain communities, I'm sure certain people click on my videos will still have them biased and negative feelings towards somebody who lives in a mobile home. But your average everyday person, their thought process has changed. And all of a sudden, I didn't get the nasty comments about being in a trailer. Now, of course, I'll probably get them now since I did this video. <laughs> but I mean, generally, people weren't saying those kind of things. And all of a sudden, I dug up my front lawn and started growing things and I had food storage. All of a sudden, I wasn't the person they were making fun of anymore. I remember way back when I first started my channel, I was a couple years into it, a woman that has a channel and she just made fun of me and it was awful. And now I think to myself, you know, I don't hear that anymore because I've learned to live below my means. So I worked really, really hard at developing my channel, really, really hard at, you know, being a person who takes what was given to me and make it into something that can really benefit me and help me save money. And so this mobile home we paid cash for and we had to sell everything to do that because our mobile home depreciated. We, you couldn't get a loan on it. In fact, here in Pennsylvania, you can't really get a loan on a mobile home. A mobile home is just, it's impossible. With banks failing and all kinds of things like that happening, people are thinking more about how can they live really cheap? And so this is one of the ways that they have really learned 
that you can live a lot frugal. But now even mobile homes are expensive. So I was just doing a research on what a mobile home costs now, and even that is really expensive. And so mobile home parks are being filled every day because people are trying to get out of their high rent and things like that. So no, I don't think there is a stigma like there was seven years ago. And I don't think there's as much of a stigma anymore. And I am so super duper excited about sharing with all of you about how to live cheap and how to live frugal and do it abundantly and happily. And mine is happens to be in a 1963 Ridgeway double wide. I do know lots of people who have sold their homes and bought a mobile home because of watching my channel. I know offhand about seven different families that have done that. There are a lot of things that are cons against living in a mobile home. There are a lot of things that are benefits of living in a mobile home. But I wanted to share with you real life for me. And that is a way to save money because someday we may have to have retirement. You know, we have to think about things. Do I live this way because I have to? No, not necessarily, but I do because we need money for retirement someday. And also this has given me such joy. I want to say this once again in my videos, for those of you who are watching to the end, I enjoy this lifestyle. I want to express my enjoyment of this lifestyle and give you confidence and encouragement and inspiration that you can enjoy this lifestyle as well. It's a mindset to a certain degree. I don't know how long I can live like this, but as long as I have the health and my life has been impacted in an amazing way, I will continue to live this way as long as I possibly can. And I thank you guys so much for your inspiration to me and to reporting me back to me that these videos have really inspired you. All right, I'm stepping back here so you can see the back of our property. Now there's my cooking section. There's my laundry over at the rain barrel. Then I also have a craft room, which I store all of my supplies. We also have a brand new shed that was put up. So this is a working homestead. In other words, you can see the different areas of where we do the different chores. And this gives you a, just a different perspective. We do have hoses and those hoses are gravity fed water that goes to our chickens. That way we don't have to haul so much water. I'm learning as I get older in my 50s that it's east work smarter not harder so we're learning ways to adapt with having less amenities so that is the back of our property now i'm going to show you something else And this is what the garden looks like today at the end of April of 2023. See you guys again tomorrow. Bye, everybody.